Aloha. Welcome to How to Work a Conference to Make It Work for You. I'm Katherine Fulford at the University of Hawaii. I'm with Adam Tanari Jr., my design assistant. This is a five part series. Today we're covering part four Guidelines to Visuals 102 Animations, Aesthetics, Legibility, and Readability. Animations. You can use custom animation to gain attention. You can also use it to animate your graphics and add sound. You can use bills to control the focus. Bills are what I've been using in this slide. They turn green after you've used them, and that allows you to make the focus on what you're saying because people can read faster than you speak. You can get two slides with one graphic by duplicating the slide and using different bullet points on the second slide. You might also want to choose automatic animation to reduce the number of unnecessary mouse clicks. You can use custom animation to lead your eye. You can use it to enhance your design and make it more dynamic. But I would recommend choose specific movements rather than the button that says random. That way you make sure that those animations enhance rather than detract from your design. You want to also avoid overstimulating and distracting your audience, so don't overdo. Aesthetics. You can use bills to control the flow of information. Use bullets for each point in a concept. Use effects and dim to focus the attention. But avoid having more than six bullet points on one page. So instead of using the automatic spacing, you can add extra line spacing between bullet points and also avoid having very short lines by stretching your text box. Legibility is different for projected media than it is for text. So let's talk about what the difference is between legibility and readability. Legibility is your ability to see something clearly, whereas readability is your ability to read it fluently. Legibility and readability have a lot to do with your font choices. For example, serif fonts have thin lines and feet whereas sans-serif fonts have even lines and no feet. Serif fonts are easier to read in print media, and this is because those feet actually help your eyes move across the page. They've shown this in research with eye scan cameras. Sans-serif fonts are much more legible in projected media, and the reason is, is that the thin lines in serif fonts often disappear on the screen. Serif fonts are things like Palatino, Times, and Courier. Sans serif fonts are Geneva, Arial, and Helvetica. So to recap, serif fonts are easier to read in print media, and sans serif fonts are more legible in projected media. The font size at the bottom of this slide is 12 points. This is the same size as your paper and not the appropriate size for a presentation. It's very hard for the audience to see. You need to use the largest font size you can to still have a pleasant design. So I wouldn't put anything below font size 18, and that's for your smaller room. You can use sans serif for projected visuals, at least 18 points for projected visuals. The larger the room, the bigger the font, also, when you're using a web browser for presentation, you need to change your preferences because it's normally at about 12 points and that cannot be seen by the audience. Also with legibility, all caps are hard to read. And the reason is, is that we've all been trained that caps are for certain things, like titles and proper names. So don't use all caps in general. Most people think of that as screaming. 
You can instead use something like small caps, which gets at the same idea and is a little more attractive. Be careful of decorative fonts. They can often disappear on the screen and be very hard to read. Instead, you might try something like drop caps, which is easier to read and still quite attractive. Readability. Avoid the centering of large blocks of text. And the reason for this is, when you have things centered, your eye goes back and forth and tends to lose its place. The same thing is true for full justification. We've learned to use those edges on the left side being straight and on the right side being ragged to be able to find our place. Once you change this and you're fully justified, it's very hard to read. Also, use bullet points, not sentences, for things that are easy to read. Be sure to use the same verb tense to make sure that you're grammatically correct. So, in other words, if you look at these sentences, I have avoid and avoid, use and use, rather than avoiding, use, used, and other kinds of things. Avoid using slashes or parentheses. You avoid using parentheses because they're a lot like a thought cloud, and you're making just sort of a subtle statement. I had a student one time that put a lot of these in her paper, so every few minutes she was going, but I think it's like this, or I think it's like this. So you want to be really careful having a lot of those thought clouds in your presentation. Avoid leaving out articles like A and the. People find it confusing when those are left out. It looks like something is incorrect. In addition, when you're trying to read it from the screen, it will confuse you, so it's much better to leave them in. You can use symbols and sounds for emphasis. You can use bold, underlined, or italics, but use them judiciously or they don't work very well. Emphasize words like not or absolutes like must so that your audience is clear. And that's the end of the session for today. For next time, we have presentation delivery. We'll talk about professionalism, mental, visual, and moral support, presentation skills, teamwork, and good design. Aloha and mahalo.